Hi everybody, it's Mel here. Welcome back once again to my channel, Pebbles and Peach. Today, I've decided to Halloweenify my house a little bit and I have done four Halloween crafts that I have filmed to show you guys how to make. These are all super, super easy, super on a budget and just good fun to be honest. So you could like do these with your kids, do these with your friends, do these by yourself if you just want to have something fun to do coming up to Halloween. But in this video, I have included how I've done some pumpkin carving. I've included how to make this little um, pumpkin basket, uh, which is really, really super cute. And that was really fun to me. I also show you how to make and kind of just make out these little ghosts that I kind of have hung on my fireplace, almost like a garland. But it's these little guys, which were also super easy to make and super fun. And you can kind of hang these around anywhere. And I also made some Halloween slime, which was really, really fun as well. So yeah, here is how I made these four super simple on a budget Halloween crafts. Ooh, so first off. I'm gonna show you how to make these little spooky hanging ghosts that I hung up above my fireplace. They're super easy to make and you can use a couple of different things to make them. I'll show you how, but you'll need a marker, scissors, paper, some string, some sellotape, and a cup. I just use these like little plain paper cups just because they're easy to draw onto. And then you can have fun and draw like any kind of face that you want on these. So I did some that were like more spooky. This one was kind of like this cute little vampire ghost he turned out in the end but you can have fun and do whatever <laughs> then you just want to tie cut your string and then tie like a big knot in the end of it and then poke a little hole in the top of your cup and this is what you're going to thread the string through so that they hang and you might need to tie a big knot because the first time I did this it just went right through um, then you just want to cut paper into strips. Now I actually tried a couple of different ways of doing this. I tried ripping paper and um, I actually preferred toilet paper um, but you can try a couple of different things and then just set a, a piece of tape down and stick to about like halfway down it so that you can use the other half to stick inside the cup. So you can stick these on and then there's a little bit of room to stick them inside and that's how your little spooky ghost looks. And like I said, you can try this with toilet paper, with ripped paper, just whatever, whatever you like. Next, we're going to make this Halloween slime, which I had so much fun making. This is only like the third time I've tried making slime. I did not know how, but shout out to Eden for showing me how to make slime. But you will need some clear PVA glue. I'm making quite a lot, so I got like a liter bottle. Some activator, so this is just the Elmer's like activator. Um, some little things to put inside it. I chose these little balls and then some food coloring. So I wanted to make mine orange and green so I got red and yellow food coloring. And basically you just want to pour it into your, I'm using a pretty big tub because I wanted to make a big amount um, and then just mix it all together. And you can get really technical with this and try and measure things out. But I've learned the best way, which is the way the kids do it, is just fire stuff in and see what happens. And um, then add a couple of drops of your food coloring. You don't want to go too much at once but like do a little bit of a tan see what color it turns out mine actually turned out the perfect kind of orange like straight away so then i just added the balls in um after just to make it real halloween looking you know that orange and green kind of thing um this is what it turned out like so you can keep it like this but if you've made slime before you'll know that the fluffy slime is a bit more fun so you can take some shaving foam fire that into the slime mix that in i think i used a little bit more food coloring as well just to make it like fluffy it's a little bit more fun to like play about with and squeeze and have fun with and that is how my halloween slime turned out which was pretty fun <laughs> So next up, I'm gonna show you how to make this little moon and stars pumpkin. If you're perhaps not the best pumpkin carver, this is a pretty easy one to do. Um, like I'm not the greatest. So you just wanna take the top off and gut out your pumpkin like you would before you do any pumpkin carving. And then just draw some simple little shapes into it. The circles are actually surprisingly easy to do. I'll show you how to do this. But yeah, just, oh, a serrated knife is the best thing to use, I should add, just because it cuts through a little bit easier, but just take your time with it poke your shapes through and then how you do a circle is you just put the knife in and twist it round and literally that's how you get circles so it's super super easy super easy craft to make and that's the result it's quite pretty next i'm going to show you how to make these little webbed pumpkins um i didn't know what to call these they're almost like baskets but 
they're really cute anyway. You'll need some wool, some pipe cleaners, some uh, PVA glue and some balloons as well. So first off what you want to do is blow up your balloons to the desired size and then you want to cut some longish strands of wool. Um, not too long so you don't want it to get tangled but long enough that you can kind of wrap a good bit and just dunk the wool into the PVA glue and then just start wrapping it around the balloons. You can probably wear gloves if you don't want to get this messy, but I mean, it's just PVA glue, it washes off pretty easily. So I was happy enough to get my hands dirty and keep wrapping. Eventually you end up with something kind of like this and then I left it overnight to dry. So it was completely hardened. You need to make sure that the wool is completely hard or this will not work at all. So once it's completely dry, you can burst it. I thought it was going to pop, so I, I was freaked out, but it didn't, it just really, Slow, slowly like disintegrated and then you just pull out the balloon through one of the holes and you have the little basket and then just use your pipe cleaners to make like these little end bits I wrapped it around my little finger pulled it off trimmed it a little bit to just whatever length that you need and then you can just pop it into one of the little holes twist it around a little bit to make sure that it's in right and there you go. And then you can do the same thing with the little leaves. You can add as many as you want. I stuck two on and I thought it looked pretty cute, but that is how they turned out. And I think it might be my favorite one. And this is everything all put together. I'm actually so happy with how my little fireplace turned out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching, making all these crafts. And um, let me know if you're going to attempt any in the comments or just let me know what your favorite one was. And yeah, hopefully you guys have fun trying to make these too. I really, really enjoyed it. And um, my home looks all set up and ready for Halloween now. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to share this video out and share the Halloween crafts with others. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Halloween and I'll see you on the next upload. Bye guys. I'll raise a glass to you and you'll raise a glass to me and when the